bridging to 10 is a strategy that we can use to help us adding or subtracting. Let's look at a simple example of adding using the strategy of bridging to 10. 7 plus 8. Here you can see that we've got our bridge set up. It's like a number line. The trick is that with bridging to 10, you need to stop once on the bridge at a decade. So, 7 plus 8. We know from our knowledge of our friends of 10 that 7 plus 3 will get us to 10. So let's stop on the bridge after we've added 3 and we've gotten to 10. Our question asks us to add 8. So here we look at what we've already added to get to the decade, 10. So we've added 3. We need to add 8. So 3 plus what else equals 8? 3 plus 5 equals 8. So we've stopped at 10. 10 plus 5 equals 15. So our answer to 7 plus 8 is 15. Let's look at another example using some larger numbers. Okay, 16 plus 7. So at one end of the bridge, we have our 16. We need to use our knowledge of friends of 10 to get to the next decade. The next decade that is closest to 16 is 20. So 16 plus 4 equals 20. 4 plus what equals 7? 4 plus 3 equals 7. So we're at 20. 20 plus 3 equals 23. So our answer to 16 plus 7 is 23. Another example, using larger numbers again. 42 plus 12. Okay, so we've started at 42. We want to get to the next decade using our knowledge of our friends of 10. So we want to get to 50. 42 plus 8 will get us to 50. We need to add 12. So 8 plus what equals 12? 8 plus 4 equals 12. So 50 plus 4 is 54. Our answer to 42 plus 12 is 54. And just one more example until you'll be able to do it all by yourself is this one. 122 plus 16. Remember that using the bridging to 10 technique, we want to stop on the bridge at the next decade. So the next decade from 122 is 130. So we start at 122 and using our knowledge of friends of 10, we know that if we add 8, we can get to 130. We need to add 16. So we've already added 8. Adding another 8 will get us to 16. So 130 plus 8 equals 138. Our answer to 122 plus 16 is 138.